Charlton Yamadao, an accountant and son of former mayor of Kwekwe, was married to Fungai Yamadao, and they had two children, Alexia, a six-year-old, and her older sister. They had moved to Balito in Durban 10 years prior, and they were a normal middle-class family. On the 31st of May 2020, Fungai reported to the police that Alexia had been kidnapped by an unknown man from the backseat of her car when she slowed down for a speed bump on, on Glendale Road near Shakaskro in Durban. The police then launched an intensive search for her around Shaya Moya and along Glendale Road. After a two-day search by police, helped by farmers on quad bikes, Alexia's body was found lying in the open sugarcane field near Raitvlay, behind Shaka Scroll. Police took in the mother for questioning and quickly came to the conclusion that she had been responsible for the death of her child. She kept on giving conflicting statements and changing her story. When the police questioned the neighbors of the family in Kingston Estate, they said the night before Alexia's murder, on the 30th of May, they heard the sounds of a loud disturbance coming from the apartment. They were so concerned that they had alerted the estate security to investigate. They then were shocked to hear the following evening that Fungai raised the alarm of a missing child and they were suspicious. She was then arrested and charged with premeditated murder, kidnapping, assault, obstruction of justice and making false statements to the police. During her court appearance at Umsali Magistrate's Court, it was revealed that Fungai Nyamadzawa had a history of mental illness. This information led to the postponement of her bail application as the court awaited medical records to determine whether she was fit to stand trial. The court proceedings were further complicated by her emotional challenges as Fungai was reportedly very emotional making it difficult for her lawyer to get instructions from her. The defense had access to two medical expert reports compiled prior to the incident, which were considered relevant to the case. Alexia's father, Charlton Yamazawa, attended the court proceedings as he was planning for the repatriation of his daughter. A local memorial service was held and an obituary described Alexia as a shy and life-filled child who loved to swim and showed promise in gymnastics. The obituary also mentioned a poignant gesture by Alexia in December, where she gave her father money and clothes to send to those in Zimbabwe. The case of Fungai Nyamadzawa is a somber reminder of the complexities surrounding such tragic events, where factors such as mental health can lead to parents murdering their own children. She is still on trial.